Welcome to Porsche Top 5. The Porsche 919 Hybrid Evo is a breathtaking machine. It crushed some impressive records and is a sports car of its own. Today, we're at its birthplace, the LMP1 department in Flacht. Hello, welcome to Weissach. I'm Stephen Midas, the technical project leader of the Porsche 919 Hybrid Evo project. Join me now in the workshop so we can talk about the car with some of our friends. Please welcome Timo Bernhardt and Neil Yanni. Just discussed uh, our top five for the 919 Evo and uh, suspension must be in there, right? Absolutely. Well, with the performance increase with this car, we had uh, new wishbones, so we could maximize uh, performance, but also ensure maximum safety. We've updated the inboard suspension in order to increase the roll stiffness, and there's also uh, an updated version of the PLS, this pitch link suspension that we have, in order to make sure we keep that ride height as low as possible for you guys in those low speed corners. The biggest thing was just to trust, because when you drive this car on the limit, you want to know that nothing breaks, but I think that was the advantage that we were working all together for so long. So we had the trust that the, that the people will not take it lightly and they really concentrate on getting the car, I mean, quick but also safe. Shoot. Half a second is trust, yes. I guess, a lot. Watching you through, through a rouge on that lap, I mean, it was uh, 300 plus. So, I, mean, so I, <laughs> I tested it for you and then you knew you can go down <laughs> exactly, to your yeah. life and enjoy. Yeah, let's go to top four because something we really felt an increase of performance came from the tires. I mean, absolutely. And Michelin did a wonderful job. I mean, uh, the level of increase in performance was, was truly epic. And when you consider the constraints, because we had the same construction as last year, uh, it was wow. The best was in the morning when it was cool and not too high asphalt temperatures. Sure. And when we started developing new compounds with Michelin, I mean, we were targeting those temperatures, but when we turned up at the Nordschleife, <laughs> I mean, our target was to operate the same time of day as in Spa, but uh, the temperatures were just so hot, it was, uh, it was quite amazing. So, Timo and Neil, we have a small problem, because uh, we have some transport rain tires on the car. I think for us to sure. continue the top five, sure. we need to put some slicks on it. Oh, that was a proper pit stop, and guys, now the Evo looks a lot better on slick tires. Top three, hydraulics. Yeah, big topic for us. I mean, the technical challenge and, and the time to get it all sorted was, uh, was huge for us. Uh, we start here at the rear with the DRS system. So we have a movable rear flap on the rear wing and a movable trailing edge on the front diffuser. We also had something which uh, the engineers loved and I'm sure you guys did too. The four-way brake-by-wire system, which allowed us to create some torque vectoring effects on the braking. And maybe we should go around to the front of the car and have a look uh, at your office to, to talk about the last item on the hydraulics. Basically, we uh, updated the, the power steering system. If I remember correctly, in the very first years, we had some issues where we reached the peak of the power steering in, in Eau Rouge. The guys uh, created an ingenious solution to increase the power steering support to help you guys uh, you know, go through those high-speed corners without any situation issues. So if we speak about characteristic and genes of the 919 Hybrid and the updated performance, we have to talk about aerodynamics. Absolutely, and it's the biggest visual change in the car. We start here at the front, the new front end. I mean, the nose box is the same as last year, but uh, all this bodywork is different with a longer overhang on the, on the front diffuser. Added some skirts down the end. Yes. So it these, sexy. these nice things, <laughs> which uh, also uh, increase the efficiency. And from the rear, we can see that the, the height of the diffuser is much much bigger than it was last year. Yeah, that's a proper diffuser, I would say. Huh? <laughs> and you have the shape and the look of a little bit of the 935, actually. Some historic component in there. <laughs> the most impressive thing visually on this car that's changed compared to last year is this huge rear wing. Yeah, it's much further back huh, as well. It's, it's significantly further yeah. back, which helps it couple the performance with the diffuser and uh, increasing downforce. Uh, as a result, this whole package is just huge. Yeah, due to the advanced aerodynamics, we were able to run 369 uh, top speed at notch life and still be able to do I mean, uh, corners like Orouge uh, more than 300 kph. It's impressive. Actually, when Andreas told me in January that I will do spa, I started training my neck because I knew going 12 seconds quicker, uh, that's going to be quite strong on, on the body. But yeah, that's with, with speed, obviously. Uh, 
everything gets harder on the yes. car. And, and talking about speed, we finally get to our top one. Should we have a look? Yeah, we should have a look at it. Skills. Our after-career skills. You guys got a future mechanics after this. <laughs> so you got some numbers for us? Absolutely. We can start with the V4 at the back. We were racing around 500 PS. And uh, I think we ended up uh, somewhere close to somewhere in 20 PS. Wow. The increase in performance is a clear demonstrator of what this thing could have done. Also, on the front axle, um, we have around 440 PS. So mm -hmm. for a total around 1160. One of the most impressive things for me was the acceleration because like the e-machine driving the front and the turbo engine driving the rear. Never-ending acceleration and uh, talking about acceleration, 0 to 300 kph, what, what's that about? Well, we never actually tested that because it was not the focus of the car. Uh, but um, I think we, we made some, some basic calculations and we think it's around 8 seconds. When you drive it, it's really man against machine. You know, it's normally you're still stronger than the car, but here the car is nearly stronger than you and it takes you to your limits. This tribute car in this red band here has all the names of all the team members that actually worked on the 919 project from the very beginning. And everyone who's contributed to the great success that we've had here. And it's been a fantastic honor to work with all of them. At the end of the day, it's like you said, it's a tribute to the ultra successful 919 program and, uh, and also a thank you to Porsche for, for letting us, us three, do this uh, and go to Le Mans and, and, and compete in the World Championship. Okay, thank you everyone for spending some time today going through our top five for the Porsche 919 Hybrid Evo project. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and looking forward to seeing you all next time. Bye bye. Bye guys. Thank you very much, guys. A great car that will now find its way to the museum. Next week, we'll try to settle another question. It's going to be loud. See you then.